it's not only nurses and doctors uh, who are absent from our workforce. It's basic workers, basic construction workers, fallen by 14% to 2.1 million since 2019. That's uh, according to official data published last month. There's 38,000 vacancies advertised every month um, in the last year, according to the Construction Industry Training Board. And people, people can't, uh, uh, construction projects can't fill these vacancies. So the big things like uh, Hinkley Point C, the National Grid, Thames Water, uh, HS2, they simply don't have enough people to do the work which uh, our uh, grand projects envisage. We can't do it. The skills shortage in construction, the skills shortage in nursing, in health in general, the skills shortage in almost any, in policing, in almost any industry where you actually need people on the ground who have been trained is staggering. Why? The elephant in the room. Brexit, Brexit, Brexit. The one thing that Sunak and Starmer won't talk about, Brexit. This is a global problem, admittedly, but it's also local. Many workers are being poached and taken abroad. Many of our workers are being taken abroad. They're being lured to Australia, for example. Why not? Because they're being treated better there. They're being lured to the Middle East. Why not? Because they're being treated better there. And there's nobody being lured here. Why would anybody want to be lured? How can anybody be lured here when the health service doesn't work? When you call up your bank and you're treated to endless abuse uh, and, uh, and bullying, starting with the security check, this miserable infantilization of the customer. And why would any... And, and, then, and then you've got the issue from Sunak that we don't want uh, workers to bring their families here. So anybody who's coming here to work in this country is coming here effectively as a, as a form of paid slave, while their family are getting on in their own country. So they've got to maintain two houses or live in some sort of dormitory. <laughs> they might as well be working on an oil rig. And we don't provide enough money to lure people here for that sort of misery. The new visa rules, which came into force in 2021, many who were here, even enduring the sort of contempt and racism that we meet out to them, have returned to their home countries or gone to other demand hotspots around the world. We are finding it harder and harder to encourage people to come to work here because we treat them so badly. And Yvette Cooper is already foreshadowing what's going to happen. Uh, on, on Sunday, she said Labour planned to reduce work-related immigration if it gets into power on, when it gets into power on July the 4th. So it's only going to get worse. Um, you know, the legal net migration thing uh, with, 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 a, with a cap from the Conservatives, the last thing big industry needs when it's struggling to actually find workers. And uh, apprenticeships won't fill the gap. There, uh, there were 31,000 construction apprenticeships uh, over the last five years, and only 40%, um, uh, more than 40%, dropped out from the start of their courses. So we don't have staying power. We can't keep those people in the apprenticeships that they've signed up to. Why? Because we don't have clear goals and because we, we so demonstrably treat construction workers, workers, poorly. We're more interested in statistics than we are in people. And the, the pool of labour that we've got is simply not big enough to deliver the infrastructure, 
plans that big government has got in mind. It's a, it's a skills shortage, and it's not about one individual company. Uh, it's about the nation. It's about Britain, and Britain can't do it alone. Uh, so, if, so if it's not going to depend on Europe, who is it depending on?